I stuck to Peloton. Like Peloton was my jam. Like I didn't have the bike, but Peloton has amazing workouts for anybody that's like wanting to get in the gym. I ordered some weights and for like four months, I was super locked in and I got in the best shape of my life and I was cooking and sharing, you know, with my friends via text what I wanted to you know, eat, what I was cooking, and just all the things. And I, I'll never forget, my friend Helen was like, girl, start a YouTube channel. And at that time, I was already thinking of like, what would my name be, what would my name be? And I, I just referenced my favorite pastry, the sexiest pastry of them all, which is a croissant. And I was like, you know what, I'm the Haitian croissant because I'm in Paris, I'm Haitian, I'm proud, but I'm also here in Paris and I'm embracing this new found life at the time. So that's really how I started the Haitian croissant. Like I really just needed a name and I was like, you know, the sexiest, <laughs> the sexiest pastry is me. Um, but also if you know Mad TV, there was like a little skit where the guy like calls a girl like Yvonne, my French croissant. And that was always in my mind too. So that's where it all came to. Excuse me, can I touch you for a minute? What's your name, delegate? Oh, oh, um, uh, uh, Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne? Yeah. Oh, damn, hold up. That's a French-ass name, Yvonne. <laughs> yeah, my little croissant. <laughs> little cheese on my croissant. Yeah. Mm. That's how I came up with the name, the Haitian croissant, because I needed to start my YouTube channel. And I was ready to just share with everybody my recipes, share with, you know, everybody the different, you know, techniques I was learning to make Haitian food as a first generation in a quicker way. So everything you guys see me cook for real is like the quicker way to do things while, you know, maintaining the essence, but also incorporating different cultures that I've, you know, come across via my friends living abroad and through my travels. So that's really how the Haitian croissant started. Let's get into how I made a croissant out of crumbs, okay? So I wanted to build community and I wanted people to see how beautiful Haiti was. And this was my first year of not being able to travel to Haiti. And, you know, being in Paris and being Haitian was like one of the best things ever because to, believe it or not, everybody that you come across that has a bit of intellect is obsessed with Haitians, especially West Africans. Like they love us, they they really love compa, they love all our music, they love all our culture, they love Hui Jong Jong, all the things. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just start sharing, you know, the culture, I'm gonna start sharing my recipes, and I'm gonna just start out of nothing. And as somebody who was, you know, in a super creative block and a super depressed state like for real there was probably two months where I didn't even get out of my house before the pandemic um because I just was like down and sad so being able to cook and me mesh all these different cultures was like the way that I was able to find myself again and like I was beating myself up about it like saying like wow like I you know went and got this degree and all these things and I'm not using the degree but I found a way to make a creative outlet for myself and that's what kept me sane and kept me whole while I was away from my family. So, yeah, I just, I honestly just started sharing the recipes and I started growing the following. Union Sweet showed a lot of love. Faces of Haiti showed a lot of love. My boy Sebastian, the Cuisine Keen, showed so much love to me and he really saw my vision because I don't come from a you know traditional culinary background at all. I literally was raised by amazing Haitian chefs who are also home cooks. Everybody in my family is not necessarily traditionally trained in most of the things they're super talented at. And that's just how we, you know, make it well. We see what we like. We always have a an eye for luxury, an eye for just quality, and that's how we learn how to do things. 